Okay, you guys, we just got the keys to my new apartment. I'm so happy. I already did like an empty apartment tour, but I thought I would go more in depth for you guys because when I was here last, my Sierra was here and my dad and the realtor was in here as well, so I didn't talk. So this is the door right when you walk in. Oh, there's some some things in here, interesting. Um, but yeah, this is the coat closet and all these shelves. You'll see a lot of shelves and buildings throughout this apartment, which is so fun. Like I think I'll do like my hats, my scarves, stuff like that, whereas right now I have bins. Um, so that's right there. We have this super long hallway and these built-in shelves. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this. Like I don't want it to look too busy. But I'm thinking like just some things scattered out and as life goes on, I'll add more things. I also really wanna put a full length mirror right here so that the background of my mirror selfies will just be like this plain wall and it's all focused on the outfit. I think that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. One last little outfit check before you head out the door. I also have all of this wall space so I'm like could do something with this. And then we head on in to the apartment. Oh, the natural light is so good, I'm so excited. So this is the little home office they called it. I'm going to be using it as a closet. I am really excited, I just ordered rods. So I'm gonna do two rods that connected to either wall and make that like a huge clothing rack. And then this is gonna be shoes and bags and kind of like merch it as they say. And then this has even more storage, like so much storage, which I need and I'm so excited to have this extra space. And then right here, I'm gonna put like a teeny tiny little vanity with like one of those mirrors with like the big light bulbs. So I can do my makeup in here and like when I film videos, this will be in the background. It'll be hopefully a really lovely vibe. And then here we go to the main area. Um, ah, I just love it. Here's the kitchen. I'm actually gonna be able to fit four bar stools. I just ordered them and I'm so excited. I think they're gonna look so great. It's totally different vibe than my current kitchen because my current kitchen is a corner kitchen and then it also has more darker interior, like darker finishes, which I do like and I'll probably get again one day. But honestly, this one is super bright and amazing. I'm excited to have an island because it's just another place I can sit and do work and I'll have a lot more seating. And then I'm also still gonna put the current table I have now here. So it's pretty great and I feel like I'll be like super motivated to cook and prepare foods. Cause the, I, I don't know, I just think this is a really good kitchen. I'm really excited. The appliances are really great. Like it's all like Viking, which is really cool. So the microwave. The oven, this lovely stove, the lights there, lots of storage. These are literally all drawers and cabinets. And then a full-size dishwasher, which is a huge plus here in New York City. I currently have a half of a one and some people don't even have one, so I'm very grateful. I love the sink, I just love this counter space. Like this is just gonna be so fun. I can cook and watch TV, it'll be great. Full-size fridge. Really pumped about that. My current one is also a smaller fridge, so this will be really great because I've been cooking a lot more and just trying new foods. And then there's a freezer. There's actually an ice maker, which is huge for the program. Um, very excited about that. So that's the kitchen. I think I'm gonna put what I currently have above my couch, the gray Malin artwork, I think I'm gonna put here, which will be nice because it'll kind of tie into that backsplash, the teal backsplash. Um, and then over here, we have my living room, and um, my couch is gonna go here. TV, console there, coffee table, you guys kinda get the vibes. I have a little balcony, which is really exciting. Um, and then over here, we have the bathroom. This is the bathroom. I had to, I didn't come with a shower rod, so I had to order one. Um, so I'll be putting that in. I might change the shower head too. It's my current shower head and my current apartment is just so lovely. But I love this big bathtub. I love this like marble situation we have going on here. Um, trying to figure out if the thing I currently have over my toilet will fit here. And then this, thank goodness, we have a medicine cabinet that you can pull open and put stuff in, which is really nice. And then right here, I've got my laundry, which is another huge for the program moment. These are the same, or almost the same brand of washer and dryer I have now. Um, very similar, so I'm excited about that. 
Then all this shelving, which I don't currently have, which will be nice for storage as well. I've just been like throwing stuff on either side and then more storage up there, which is awesome. I'm very grateful for all the storage. It will be so nice. The bedroom is definitely bigger than my current. Got to figure out that the air conditioning is a lot louder here. <laughs> I don't know if I was blessed with a quieter air system at my last place. Um, both places are central air, so I'm not sure. But yeah, bed here, nightstand, nightstand. I think I'm gonna be putting my funky chair I have right now in that corner. And I'm actually gonna be able to put my dresser that I currently have in my living room at my current apartment right here. So it'll be nice to have my dresser in my bedroom instead of in the living room. And then I have this closet. It's a walk-in. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in my closet. How exciting. It's not it's not a bit big one or anything, but this will be nice. I feel like in here I'll put my sweat sets and like more of my comfy everyday clothes. And then in my closet room I'll put all my like, you know, other clothes. Trying to figure out what to do here. You guys let me know. I'm gonna have a mirror on top of my dresser, but I'm like, do I want a full length mirror in here? I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna put my other full length mirror in that corner. I don't know, I'm trying to figure that all out. And sometimes it's just, you have to wait and see until you bring all of your stuff into the space. But yeah, we're moving Thursday. This is the little more in-depth empty apartment tour. Gonna need to get something to cover that, I feel like. To get like something to drape, I don't really know, but yeah. So funny though, I get here and I pick up the keys and I'm so excited. Oh my god, this lighting is so good. I'm so excited. I come upstairs, I've got my coffee, I just worked out, endorphins are boosting or serotonin, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? I am not exaggerating. I stood outside of my door for 10 minutes. The key was not working. Like, I was trying everything. My wrist literally hurts from trying so hard. I FaceTimed my dad. I'm like, what do I do? And he was like, now is the time to meet your neighbor, I guess. So I knocked on my neighbor's door. She was so nice, thank God, and so normal and nice and cool. And she was so sweet and she helped me immediately. She was like, oh, I think something was just like, they must have locked it a few times when they left. All is well. So I feel better now. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, I, it's like so surreal to be in here right now. Like this is gonna be my new space and like getting used to it. Cause I'm so used to like how my current apartment works, but I know once everything's in here, it's just gonna be oh, so lovely. So I've got to get back because I have a call and then I also am doing like some clothing donations and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna be coming back here every day this week, honestly. I'm gonna slowly start bringing stuff. Even though I have a moving company on Thursday, I just kind of wanna start bringing stuff in, like the fr like stuff from my refrigerator, you know, start bringing some of like my Topo Chico and my LaCroix and um, some wine. Not that that's like the essential, but I'm just like, I don't know, it's fun to keep coming back. Like, I'm trying to think what else I might bring. Just like random stuff. Cause you have to tell the moving company everything you have and like try and guess your inventory. And I'm like, I think I know, but I'm scared and I don't, I'm, I don't know. So I might like bring over some, some suitcases of stuff. Like they'll pack everything for me, but I think I want to bring some of my products and like cleaning stuff just like to have it here already. Um, so we'll see. And yeah, so welcome to my new apartment. I'm so, so happy. And I'm so excited to be on the west side. A whole new vibe for me. Bye. Okay, we're back now. I want some lunch. Um, I'll show you guys what I've been eating lately for lunch. It is so filling. It's so delicious. I just put two of these cauliflower sandwich thins in the, fr in the toaster. Um, this is the brand. It's Outer Isle Cauliflower Sandwich Thins. I get them at Whole Foods. They are so good. So literally what I do, I'm gonna be real. I eat these two and I put like a few slices of turkey in between. And if I had tomato, I'd put it on in cheese and like avocado, but I'm really lazy right now. And so right now I'm literally just gonna put turkey on this and call it a day. But I'm also like not a sauce girly. So you might wanna add like mayo or mustard or whatever tickles your fancy, but I'm so excited and it tastes so good. All right, I showered and that felt so good. Mornings that I work out, I feel so energized right after that. But then after a while, I feel like that midday slump, like it's about to be 3 p.m. I'm just like uh, so tired. Um, but there's a lot more I wanna get done today. Oh, the sun keeps changing. So I have a Zoom call right now for a potential company that I might be working with. And then um, I need to, I, 
I'm putting it off, but I need to go to FedEx for a couple of reasons. So need to go to FedEx and a part of me wants to go to my apartment again tonight. I've never seen it at nighttime and bring over some stuff, um, but unsure. Oh wait, tonight I'm going, um, I think Ryan and I are hanging out tonight because also, oh my gosh, I don't know if I said this already. I don't think I did. My mom's coming to help me move, which is so kind. I'm paying for her flight and everything, but it's just nice. Like if I had a roommate, I wouldn't like ask her to come up, but it's nice to have someone to help and Ryan will be working. He'll be able to help on the weekends, but you know, it'll just be nice. So she's supposed to fly up late Wednesday night and then I'm moving Thursday, but this Hurricane Ian is like literally headed towards Tampa, which is so scary. I mean, I live on the water, so they've been like prepping the house, the backyard, bringing all the furniture in, everything. I mean, we're very used to it. We do it all the time, but this one is just like, it's literally headed for Tampa as of now. It could churn, it, who knows, but there's probably not gonna be flights going out on Wednesday, so she just changed her flight and she's coming tomorrow now. So um, it'll be nice to have her, like when my dad was here, I just get more done when my parents are here, because they're like, okay, we gotta do this, and I like can't really put it off. So I'm excited, and my mom has the best vibes, and she'll help me christen my new apartment. I'm really excited about that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna hop on this call, and then we'll kind of just take it from there. This vlog is basically just like a, a few days in my life getting my act together before I move. This is my last vlog in this apartment. So sad, but exciting for new things. On days like today, I have got to crack open <laughs> Celsius. This is my favorite flavor. It's Arctic Vibe, sparkling frozen berry edition. It seriously tastes so delicious. They have some other really great flavors as well. I really, really like these on days that I need energy, just a little extra boost, and it honestly tastes like summer, and summer's about to leave, and I'm really sad about it, but also I'm excited for fall, and I will continue to drink Celsius, but these things, really get me where I need to be. I have so much to do today. I just, I need this in my life, so cheers. Also, I believe it'll already have passed by the time this video goes up, but September 29th is National Energy Drink Day, so celebrate. I'm texting with Sierra, my amazing interior designer right now. I know for the closet room that I was showing you guys, I wanna do a vanity, and she sent me this brand, this company, I've actually heard of before what happened, um, called Impressions, and they have these things called Slay Stations, which I think is really funny, but this is not exactly what I want. They have some less expensive options on Wayfair, but I was reading the reviews and they said the lights weren't super bright, and I know I'm gonna be doing tons of filming and I want good quality, so I think I'm gonna get this one. But there was there was like one big drawer underneath, but there, and I only have a small space, so I asked Sierra if this would fit next to it. I've always heard of the IKEA Alex drawers, and she said this would go perfectly next to the vanity, and then I could store all of my products here, which would be huge for the program. So, sorry, I know that's like really annoying when I say that, but I'm just like leaning into it. Oh, see, yeah, someone literally has it in a similar way that I would want it. Yeah, so I could do my makeup there. Oh my God, this is giving OG YouTube days, like Juicy Star 07 when she had her whole vanity, but I think this will be really exciting and really fun um, to film there and just literally do my makeup and have a glam moment. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna get these Alex drawers from Ikea. They've been around for so long and they're just so great. I don't think I've ever had them though. I think last time I vlogged, I was sitting here in a different outfit. I went and helped my neighbor with something and cause she's starting her own clothing line and she asked me to like try on something for her, for her to see the fit. I was like, this is so cool. I'm a fit model now. <laughs> um, and then I went to FedEx, I did some stuff, went to the grocery store and grabbed a couple things. I'm gonna make Ryan and I dinner tonight. Might be my last like dinner I cook in this apartment. I'm literally the worst. I'm like the last this, the last that. I'm drama, I'm drama, I'm drama, okay? Uh, but I'm like doing work too because that's what I do. And I'm like sitting here being like, what's priority right now? Like this work, getting things done in here. Do I need some mental health time? And do I, should I just like chill for an hour or so? Um, tonight, <laughs> Ryan and I are gonna go see Don't Worry Darling. I'm so excited. I'm literally making him see it. I'm gonna be so sad if he doesn't like it. I'm literally obsessed. Like, I know some people hated it, but I don't know why. I just like can't stop thinking about the movie. I'm not sure why it's living rent free in my head. Literally, when Delaney went and saw it, I made her call me after and we talked about it. My aunt saw it yesterday. I made her call me after. I don't know. I just think, I don't know. I don't know why I'm like so into it. It has nothing to do with going the red carpet. I just, I don't know. So, I want Ryan to see it so I could talk about it with him. And I'm excited to like see his reaction and everything. 
So we're actually gonna go see that tonight at one of my favorite movie theaters. It's Regal on Delancey Street. It's the at Essex Crossing. It's in Lower East Side and it's like a really nice movie theater. So we're going to the nine o'clock show tonight. So I'm gonna make him and I cauliflower pizza. I haven't made it myself. My dad made it for me a couple times when he was here. So I'm a little nervous. So I feel like I should start soon. So I have like room for error, but I'm making the cauliflower. I already had the cauliflower crust and then I just, it's super easy. But I got everything done that was imperative to today. Tomorrow I have nothing planned. I just know that I'm gonna go to Kelly's at one point tomorrow. My mom's flying in tomorrow night now. I want to bring some stuff to my apartment tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go get one of my suitcases and put a ton of my products and stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know. We're bringing some refrigerated things. I don't really know. I just wanna do something with my apartment tomorrow. I just wanna feel like there's something at my new apartment before I move. Since I do have this apartment for a few days, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I'm not making sense. Oh, also this dress is from Addison Bay and I'm obsessed. I feel so preppy in my preppy era. Thanks for listening to this. <laughs> All right, decision made, closing the laptop. I just, brain is fried. I just had a couple more thoughts. I wrote down, sent an audio message to my manager. Now I just want to enjoy one last night cooking in my apartment. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll cook tomorrow. But I feel like since my mom's coming tomorrow, we might just like get some food or something. I don't really know. And I'll probably get a little bit more. This is really comfortable, but I don't think I'm going to wear this to the movies. So I'll show you guys this dress, though. I am truly obsessed. Addison Bay is the company. But I want to play some Frank Sinatra, some Louis Prima, and cook. And I'll show you guys while I cook. And I need to start a little bit early because I need some room for air. All right, things are happening in the kitchen. I'm about to play this playlist. I just found Italian cooking music. This is definitely my vibe right now. But I'm preheating, preheating the oven right now I'm using the same brand of the cauliflower pizza crust. Um, it's so good. It doesn't ever get super crunchy, but my dad suggested this time trying to put these in the oven for a little bit to kind of get crispy, take them back out and then put the toppings on and then put it back in. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try just to kind of like get them a little crispy, but I actually like don't care I kind of like doughy kind of things um, but Yeah, they're made with fresh cauliflower. And this is the Italian one So good. So basically I have more sauce that I'll probably have to get on my fridge But tomato sauce and then I got these mozzarella you can get smaller up mozzarella balls, whatever But I got mozzarella cheese and I'm just like cutting it up and I'm gonna put it on top I meant to buy basil when I was at the grocery store today big miss. Oh, well um, then I'm gonna put that on, and then I also have Italian seasoning that I will put on top as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the plan. Basically, once I put all the toppings on, I put it in for 10 minutes, take it out, and it's literally so good. And then I also have these green beans that I would like to make and cook, just so we have some greens as well. And then dessert will be popcorn at the movie theater. Okay, green beans are cooking. I just took them out. I just crisped them for about five minutes. I put tomato sauce and then literally just cut up the mozzarella. I'm putting on a little Italian seasoning on top. I feel like such a chef. This jazz cooking Italian music, whatever you want to call it, is just giving all the vibes. I'm in a really good mood right now. Highly suggest cooking if you're in a mood, like want a mood booster. But you have to play the Italian cooking music. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 10 minutes. Let's hope this is gonna go okay. Okay, I keep pausing the music, but I have a serious question for you guys. What is your favorite type of cuisine? Like mine is hands down Italian, and to me, I can't imagine someone not liking, I couldn't imagine someone liking something that, more than Italian. Like I just love Italian so much. Like I feel like it's such a comfort food. Pasta, bread, tomato sauce, mozzarella. Like I just love it, but I know, obviously that's not everyone's favorite food. So I just like want to know. Also, how many of you would you say Italian is your favorite? Because I think Italian is a popular one. I could be wrong though. I, I'm very biased. So I just need to know. What's your favorite cuisine? That are cooking in there. Really just getting into it. My dad just inspired me so much when he was here. So shout out dad. Um, he was making these like lovely lemon juice with sparkling water cocktails. Literally not cocktails. It's not alcoholic. But just like some sparkling water with lemon. Just like pure lemon juice because lemon's supposed to be really good. For you, obviously you guys all know this, and I'm just trying to do more things that are good for me. So we're gonna just, I have these two cute little wine glasses, or whatever these glasses are, and put lemon juice on the bottom. And
pizza, but that's okay. It's definitely like cauliflower pizza, or this cauliflower crust is really hard to get crunchy. My dad said he's on a quest to find like good crust that'll actually get crunchy, but I actually like the soft, like I was saying earlier. So I'm gonna let these cool off for a little bit. And I greased the pan, by the way, just so you guys know if you wanna try it at home. But literally, it's so easy. Such a great personal pizza. And then we have green beans on the side, which look oh so delicious. So yeah, I've got the table all set. Ryan's biking over right now. Got our lemon water. I haven't lit this candle in a minute. So yeah, dinner time. <laughs> Incoming emotional Danielle. Ugh. <sighs> so I woke up this morning just feeling like anxious about moving. I'm obviously very excited. Like I chose to move. I want to move. I'm so thankful that I can move. But. I don't know, I just like woke up this morning realizing it's like one of my last mornings waking up here and I'm just so bad at change. Like even when I moved to New York City, I was really emotional leaving and I feel like that's very normal. <laughs> God. <sighs> but this was like my first big girl New York City apartment. It has so many memories. <laughs> and I'm so excited to move, but I don't know, it's just all hitting me right now that, it, that like this won't be my space anymore. So I posted on my story like, I just woke up with some weird moving anxiety, like just kind of telling my story, what I told you guys. And so many of you responded. I wasn't crying, I wasn't. <laughs> so many of your responses were just so sweet and emotional and endearing and you guys are all such wise people. <laughs> I'm gonna like share the responses on my Instagram story now, but it's nice to know I'm not alone and that so many of you feel the same way like when you move. Oh my god, I need to put my coffee down. But some people were saying, you know, I guess Marie Kondo suggests doing something where you go around to each room in your apartment and you thank the space. And I don't know why that just got waterworks going. <laughs> I am so thankful for this space and what it's done for me. <laughs> like, I'm literally gonna go around teach room and thank the space because I am so thankful. This has been my sanctuary for the past year. And I know, like, I'm literally taking almost all of this, I am taking all of this furniture to my new apartment and I don't feel very me. But I don't know why, like, the movie company just called me and they were like, okay, confirming you're moving this day. I don't know, it's just so scary. <laughs> like, to think, I don't know, like everything's just kind of out right now because they're packing for me. So I'm like, I have my candle lit, I'm sitting having my coffee and it feels so weird. It feels like, how in two days am I gonna not be living here? It doesn't like compute in my brain. Last night I found out my mom's flight got canceled. She was supposed to be flying in tonight and Hurricane Ian is just intensifying and headed to Tampa right now and that also is giving me anxiety naturally because I feel so helpless up here because my family's down there. <laughs> and I know my family's gonna be okay. They, you know, hurricane proofed the house as much as they could. They're evacuating to like it more inland where my grandpa lives. My dad's not though because he works in the hospital and he has to like stay nearby I guess if anything he could sleep at the hospital somewhere I don't really know but right. so it's just kind of like I feel weird that there's a hurricane and I'm not down to help my family but I know they're gonna be okay down there and then also on the other end like obviously I was really excited for my mom to be up here because she made my move last year so amazing and I'm so grateful for her um, someone messaged me and suggested that I bring over like some scents or something that feel homey to me, like the scents that I have that are going here to bring them to the apartment before I move in so when I get there, it feels very homey. 
and I thought that was really, really sweet and a great idea. I actually just bought this Aroma 360 machine that literally they use in like the one hotel. I, they have different models. I got a super small one and I got the scent that I really like that, um, well, actually, I didn't get the one hotel scent. I got the addition hotel scent because that's like the wave I'm on right now. But I think I'm going to go today and plug it in. So my apartment starts to smell more like me. Anyways. Oh my god, I'm sorry for bursting out crying. There was just no way I could talk without crying. And I wanted to share this with you guys. Because it's very normal. And I really appreciate all of your sweet messages. Like, they literally just keep coming in. Uh, so... I am just going to enjoy the rest of my morning. And then I think I just need to like shower, get dressed, and just get on with the day and do things because, yeah, I need to like make it feel less like a home in here, as dramatic as that sounds, because it's starting to make me sad. So, thanks for listening. Okay, feeling a lot better right now. There's just stuff all over my apartment, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I just packed, okay, I talked to Brooke because she's done this move before. And she said they literally pack everything. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, your bathroom stuff or whatever. But in here, I put, um, I don't know. I just want to, like, go do something in my apartment, okay? I just, like, want to, like, add some things. So I'm bringing some of my, like, scent diffusers, my Aroma 360, my vacuum, and then my hats and scarves because there was, like, a ton of them. And I don't think when I told them the inventory how many hats and scarves I had. So I was just like, you know what? I have like a ton of shelves in my coat closet. I want to like put them in there and just like say I did something, you know. And I'm also going to bring my ring light as well. And then I'm bringing my, um, I brought this up, but I'm not going to bring a second suitcase right now. Um, my tote bag full of stuff. I literally, Kelly's lived in her new apartment for like a month now, I feel. And I still haven't been, so I'm bringing her a little housewarming gift. And yeah, so that's that. We're going to Uber over to my new apartment right now. My bar stools are out for delivery and it would just be if they came while I was there. So prayers for that. It's so hot, hot in my apartment right now. Oh my gosh, I think I need to like put the blinds down. Even though I have the AC on, this apartment is like facing the south, so it just gets super hot. Anyways, yeah, let's go. Okay, here now, and here's the coat closet that I thought I'd put my like shoe, or my shoes, my scarves and hats in. I just thought that made sense. Ta-da! It's not perfect, but I've got my scarves, my like winter stuff up there, um, my beanies, like softer hats, and then my baseball caps, and then fedora hats or whatever. And I think these are like movable, so I could switch up the shelves if I want. I'm obsessed with all these shelves. I'm seriously like, oh, God bless. This is gonna be amazing in the winter time. And then this has all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to put my vacuum in here as well. I brought some umbrellas too in case. Brought my extra wire covers <laughs> for my TV when we put it up here. Um, and then this. This is the Aroma 360. The machine that will be hopefully making this apartment. I mean, it smells fine. But like smell like my vibe and make me feel at home. So I'm excited. Okay, so like I said, this is the Aroma 360. I'm gonna set this up now. This is the scent I'm trying. It's called Black Velvet. It's supposed to replicate the um, Edition Hotel, or I think it is what they use at the Edition Hotel, um, which smells so good. And then I also have these that I currently have going in my current apartment. They're like reed diffusers, um, and they're the best. It's white vetiver, so I'm gonna put one in my bedroom and then like one in the bathroom, I think. I just, I pride myself in my apartment always smelling good, so this needs to follow suit. Okay, so I have it plugged in right here. I can already smell this. I've heard this is amazing. This is the, I forget, I got this, this size, whatever this is, and I think it said it could fill a whole room or certain square footage. There was a reason I chose this one. Um, but yeah, it has a remote and everything too. You could like say the percentages, like diffuser will diffuse scent for 40 seconds, pause for 160 seconds, whatever. I'm trying to decide what to do because I'm like not here yet, but also I want it to like pump through and smell amazing in here. 
Hmm, decisions, decisions. And then I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. Some people prioritize other things. I'm prioritizing the scent of my apartment, you know? I think it'll just make me feel right at home. Ugh, smells so good and vetivery. These things actually work too. All right, let's do this. That actually looks quite lovely there. Yay. I um, have this extra little counter, which I'm excited about. I'm kind of curious if I should like uh, a boost of serotonin, go to the container store and like get cute storage. I don't know. Cause I'm also, we're trying to figure out if my, I think I already said this, my over the toilet storage, it'll fit, but yay. The new bar stools are here, but I realized I didn't bring a box cutter, so we're not gonna unbox them right now, but yay, they're here. I'm at Kelly's new apartment. Yes, we're chill we're we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chatting. It's such a vibe in here. I literally Hello from my roof. I'm just saying goodbye to my roof because my next apartment won't have one and I really have loved this roof so much. And I'm saying thank you to my roof. Um, I'm gonna miss it a lot, but all good memories up here and more memories to make. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm actually gonna go back to my apartment again tonight and do some things. So the next vlog is gonna be a moving vlog. Get excited. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.